Okay. The first damn piece has been built. Look at them. They're having a good time. You can tell that they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah, you can really tell. Having a, they're having a good time. Yeah, there's a pool over here. Zuck, zuck. How many idle beavers do I currently have? Does it say anywhere? I've got one vacancy. Okay. More work? Off I go to... Yeah, yeah, no, my, my industrial lumber mill thing is, is paused. I believe in the... I believe in the dam. I believe. If I just say that often enough, at some point I may even believe it. I hope I have enough trees actually here on the high ground in the first place. Come on, beavers. Come on, lads. We're doing 24-hour workdays. You might die of exhaustion, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Dude, they should make me president. I feel like I know what's right. You thought the pyramids were impressive? Just wait and see what I can do. You vote for me? Well, that'll be the last time you vote then. That's okay. Guys, only two more beaver pieces are needed now. Or, uh... Okay, we're doing back to 20 hour days. I'm a little scared. Come on! See? I think we're gonna do it. Well, actually, I'm not... No, nah, no, we're back up to 24 hour. Come on. Come on. Point four days remaining. How long are you gonna... Oh my god. 76%. Okay, okay, one more. Point three days. Come on. Bring the... Bring the logs. Point two days. No, you guys are going to bed. This is not the time. Shit, they're taking a break. What the hell? Why are they taking a break? I put them on a 24-hour schedule. Somebody bring a, a... No. Yeah, now they're gonna die. Hurry up, hurry up! The water's flowing! F fuck's sake. Oh, are you guys just good? You guys suck. Dude, I was actually very close to not dying. Ah, you know what? It's only a three-day drought. Which I think is actually the lowest amount that you can get at this point in the game. I think it can go, like, up to a week. Guys, the dam has been completed. I expected pork champs in the chat, but that's okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you, Watovia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like these were a little forced, but... Damn, that's good news. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The beavers did it, Loco, not you. What do you mean, dude? Are you trying to say that the pharaohs did not build their own pyramids? I find that a little toxic of you. Is this a problem? It doesn't reach. Nah, it's not a problem. <sighs> okay, so you know what the water will obviously dry up before too long But I'm hoping we you know we we it would have been earlier It would have been somewhat sooner How much food do we have oh nothing 
Okay, well that's suboptimal. Um, the food situation scares me a bit. There are lots of berries over here. You know what? I'm a berry man. I only just now realized I'm a berry man. How do I even get here? Do I have to destroy my berries in order to get here? Did the music change? I don't know. The music did sound a bit sad there. See? Hopeful music, chat. This is what we needed. Go, go, little beavers. Go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no available workers? What the fuck are you guys doing? So these guys take breaks because they feel like it. But then at the same time, they have no idea what's good for them. Just an observation of mine. Okay. Sharimara has died of old age. Those are goals, chat. Dying of old age seems like a... Yeah, that seems pretty sick. That's what we're aiming for. Plus, and this is gonna sound a bit mean, but this does mean I have one less mouth to feed. Um. It's not mean, it's being literal. I agree. We have loads of food now. Just go over to the berry bush and... Take some. <laughs> Starving is a natural death. Jeez. <laughs> Dying of natural causes, AKA starvation. Jeez, man. Everything's dying! No! Point one days! Fuck. Stupid water. I hate water. Ah? Ah? Okay. Everybody rejoice. The bat water is also flowing again. Water is really the worst, yeah. I agree, man. Or as they say in Germany, it's the worst. Yeah, water is the number one cause of drowning. That is factual. Cannot deny that. The worst case. Okay, everybody's still very hungry. That does seem like a bit of a problem. Dear worst case? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Dear D does dame Dane. I gotta work on my German. <whistles> it's watered and healthy. Can you harvest that thing, please? Excuse me. You're watered and healthy. Can you please be dead? What are you doing? Why are you not cutting trees?
German grammar. German grammar is confusing sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember when I was uh, in school and I had to learn German. Basically, in order to figure out. So, so the easiest way to explain is if you speak English, is for the word the. German has a bunch of different variants. So they they have dear the das as their versions of the word the. So if you say the, for example, the bicycle, right? You have to know whether or not that is, for example, a feminine or a masculine word. And the only way to figure that sort of thing out is to know all of the words. <laughs> Just learn the words. Just all of them. Yeah. And this is something that my teachers in high school and whatnot would be very upset about. They're like, yeah, no, just, just learn them. Just figure them all out. Yeah, so you don't say eine Bier, you would say ein Bier. You end up getting a feeling about it, right, but... Uh, you just pick one and let people correct you. <laughs> Smart, smart. Guys, why would I be growing cassava or soybean if they give me less food? Canola? Canola is... okay. Corn is also taking ages. Nah, we're just gonna... I'm a cool Robbie guy. For the bonus? Oh yeah, they like... they like different variety. That's okay. We don't need variety where we're going. You can make soy sauce and tofu with soybeans. That's true, dude. Soybeans in general are very overpowered. Um, did anybody die of hunger? Somebody died of old age? No, dude, there's another guy that just died of old age, but that's pretty hype. Okay, we're turning the breeding pots back on. Now that we have no water and no food in storage, I think this is the perfect moment. Welcome back to the country of Europe, Low Jam. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Europe is one of my favorite countries. I'm just missing a little bit of freedom, you know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm really distinctly noticing. <sighs> Thank you, Crispy, for the 33 months. England is your city? Nice. How'd you like that taste of freedom, Loco? I liked it, man. It wasn't very noticeable, but just in the back of your mind, you know? What? Germany is the only country where die in hell will get you a nice pair of shoes? Die in hell? What is a in hell? <laughs> what does that mean? Is that like the insult? It's a light collar? What? I don't get it. Die in hell? What does that mean in German? Oh, that means those in a lighter color? Oh, that is funny. I see. <laughs> Them in a light color. Right. The Imhel. Ah, gotcha. How have I never heard that one before, guys? That's good. So why do I have vacancies? Can I, is there like a button where I can see where everybody's working? I don't think so, right?
That's true, we do use the word D in Dutch as well. It is not pronounced die, though. Yeah, a lot of kids will be like, die, die, die. No, that's not what they do. It'll be D, 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 D. I did banana. I made a YouTube video about it. If you're interested. I think I was the last guy to make a video on this, uh, this new patch, man. All these other YouTubers that are not jet lagged suddenly go out and immediately make the thing. Can't believe it. I do YouTube sometimes, sometimes. I've made a video once. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna live. I think we may be dead. I think a lot of my dudes are just about to go hungry and then die. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sad moment, but uh, sometimes these things happen. Everybody's hungry. Oh no, we're eating. There's some food. No food equals no freedom. Yeah. This game is the future of the Netherlands simulator. It's true, man. When the sea levels rise. You know, as far as climate change goes in the Netherlands, they're not even really concerned about water coming from the sea, but water that comes from the mountains over on like the German end of things. Yeah. Always those Germans, huh? Not cool, guys. Yeah. Now, water from the from the western side of the country apparently not so much an issue. It is, uh, yeah, the mountains in the east. I'm accidentally turning this game into RimWorld. I didn't mean for it to. To be a problem? Oh yeah, I can set priority over here. Oh, we had two carrots in storage. That's a lot of food. I have 14 water in storage? I mean, I feel like we're stable. Things are looking real nice. So I would like to make a, um, a crossing here somewhere, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I should make a... Is there an easy way for me to, like, get the water level to rise? I guess I would have to create, like, a full wall over here somewhere. Like a big floodgate. Yeah, I know that's ages ago. Ocean is not a problem in Dutch histories. No, no, no. Well... Mountains. Mountains is what scares us, okay? Levy under the dams? Is that possible? Can I do levees underneath the dams? I forgot about that. That's actually a good idea. It's 120 science, which I do have right now. The only thing is that I would like to build it right over here. Because I don't want to let all those trees go to waste. My best spot for it, I guess, would be over here. Like so. And then we build dams on top of it. And then everything should be pushed up. And that should flood this area over here and then raise the amount of water that I can use in my main area. I think it's a good plan. It's just a very expensive plan.
Yeah. Are you guys not doing anything over there? Okay, I'm gonna change the amount of people working in the district over here. Yeah, I could do double floodgate, but the double floodgate is real expensive. Like, I, I these are 10 lumber each. I'm not even remotely close to that. I need more lumber. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll harvest these trees specifically for this job. I think that's a good plan. Because I'm gonna need loads of trees for this sort of thing. Can I maybe store lumber over there too? Is that an option? I think I can. Since we can reuse stuff, I think this might actually be a pretty good idea. So we built those two things over here. Top priority. And then... We gotta cut down... Cut those trees into... Pieces. Right. Look how much food I have, bro. I have 70 food. That's pretty good. That's a lot of food. This is my plastic fork? No, 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 no. This is my last resort. Not my plastic fork. That makes no sense, man. You have one food in real life? I think I might need to get some food in real life. But that requires getting up, and that sounds like a lot of effort. <sighs> yeah. I do have the American candy. That's true. I need more beavers, man. That's what I really need. It is a lot of calories, yeah. Nine pieces for 120, Ramble. This one is going to have to store wood. You wonder how many calories a beaver is? You can probably calculate that. A beaver is up to 45 kilograms. What? Very old fat beavers can weigh as much as 45 kilograms. AKA 100 pounds. Most adult beavers weigh about, okay, around 25, about 17 to 32 kilos. That's a lot, man. That's, that's quite a lot. 40 to 70 pounds. I wanna be an old and fat beaver one day, man. Very old fat beavers can weigh as much. Like basically the elderly of the beavers just sit around. I don't know what they eat, but they just gnaw wood, I guess. That's what I imagine they do. They just lay on their bellies, or on their backs and just chill. Thank you, Arcane Flyer, for the 45 months. Beavers are kind of big. They are three to four feet long and stand, ah, 0.3 to 0.5 meters tall. These guys are, hmm, all right. <laughs> They're short kings, absolutely. Otter or beaver, which one would win? I heard otters frequently hold hands whenever they're, like, swimming. Which sounds pretty fun, dude. Have you ever seen pictures of otters holding hands? I came across this recently. Otters apparently float around. Like, look at this. Otter couples apparently frequently float around like that. Yeah, they just chill. So they don't float away. That's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. B 
beaver meat has a lot of protein? Mm. Is that what she said? <laughs> They're holding hands with their significant otter. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do I have any jobs of people that are not doing anything? Where is everybody working? What are you guys all doing? Two over here. Is there a hotkey for me to see where everybody's working? Uh, visibility? Togo warehouse priority? Is this a thing? I think my beavers basically died of old age, man. It's a sad day. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So we have... Uh, what is it? Ten workers and two vacant places. So I need, I need more dudes. We need to breed more beavers. No, I didn't work them to death. Look, they're old. Like, there's an overview over here in the, t in the bottom left. Grown up, grown up. Died of old age. Died of old age. Died of old age. Died of old age. Bro, everybody's dying. They're dropping like flies, man. It's not good. I'm going to add another breeding pot. The Vergrijzing. Yeah. This is a problem we have as well over here, man. The average population is getting too old. Who's gonna pay for all of that, chat? Can you cure old age? In real life? Cure as in like you want people to live less long? Because that would solve that problem, specifically, but... People don't really like talking about that too much. Is there a sorcerer's stone in this game? I don't think so, man. Good question, though. Necromancy would be another solution. But again, one that I don't find terribly likely. Uh, I'm gonna pause this one. No, I don't play Warhammer. I'm actually uh, I'm playing I'm I'm painting uh, Age of Sigmar right now. I love those models, dude. I still have it sitting right here on my desk. <sighs> Age of Sigmar, but why? Because the models look nicer, I think, overall. I don't know. I basically just looked at the entire Warhammer website. Essentially all of it, I think. And I really liked pretty much all of the models that they have for Age of Sigmar. But I don't really care. Feel the minis flow through you. Dude, I have so many to paint right now. I had a really good time though. Like I notice when I'm painting minis, I'm not really paying attention to time at all. It seems to just go by real quick. <laughs> you have an enormous gray pile of shame. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I painted for like, I think f six hours ish yesterday. That was a long while. But it was kind of funny because I was watching the free practice of Formula One and I don't know, just watching some YouTube videos and I have a lot more to paint, man. 
I have more, um, the next one I want to paint. Hold up. Let me show you. The next one. I, uh, I primed it earlier. It's basically, uh, it's, it's just a Stormcast guy as well. Although I'm a little afraid of this guy, because he seems... Like, how in the world am I going to be able to get, you know, the arm? That, that arm over there. Because the, uh, the shield is kind of in the way. I can't still, like, I didn't glue down the shield, so I can still remove it if I really want to. But I'm going to try and not, like, not do that. But, yeah. By getting good, yeah. So this is this is the one I painted yesterday. I actually am very happy with how it turned out. I already showed it earlier, but it is a uh, a stormcast eternal guy. Plus, I put some actual stuff on the base now, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's a tiny brush. Yeah. I got some um, got some advice from Kalaris. Kalaris uh, has been painting stuff for a long while, and he basically gave me a few pointers, so I didn't start, you know... I didn't start completely from scratch, not knowing at all what I was doing, but... It really did help quite a bit, though. I'm following along with YouTube tutorials, so it's not like I'm coming up with my own painting schemes or whatever, but... <sighs> you love a f Yeah, dude, honestly, the model for- like, the, the handle for holding the models is huge, though, bunny. It's very, very handy. Pun not intended. Because you don't actually have to hold it by its base, but you have this thing that you hold in your hand instead. There's a lot of those, like, 5 euro improvements I've noticed with this sort of stuff. You're doing a lot of military-based stuff, right, Shiny? I feel like these big flat panels are much harder to paint, though, than, like, these detailed miniatures. Like, this is kind of tricky. You use an airbrush for big services? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Does larger bases save your hands so much stress? No, so, hold up, let me show you. So, the first one I painted, I painted while holding the thing in my hand. And it's not very comfortable. Like you can kind of turn the base, but it's not. It's not very like comfortable. So you can you can buy these little things. That you can basically they're like they're friction fit. So these bases I think are like 40 millimeters. They're a bit bigger than the other ones. Barely fits. Let me try and get it there. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't fit properly for these. I don't quite understand what the difference is. There we go. Yeah, so basically, you hold this, and then you can just, you know, paint it like that. Which makes it so much more comfortable, rather than holding the actual... He's too deep, now he's gonna get a station next? What does that mean? A station? Obviously, you can just stick some, I don't know, some of the sticky, like, the, the stuff that you used to hang up posters. And just, you know, use like a cork or a bottle or whatever. Is that a Warhammer butt plug? Basically, yeah. It is basically a Warhammer butt plug. Bombardero can help me if it goes wrong. Yeah. What's going on, foe? I can paint in the shower now. It's pretty exciting. Good times. Good times ahead. I guess this guy can be on pause.
I just clean the water regularly, Dark. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> nice, Peter. The biggest pain for modeling is cleaning the airbrush. Hmm. I don't have an airbrush. That is an entire rabbit hole that I am not gonna get into. Not right now, anyways. It's the same for, like, 3D printing, you know? Like, some people go into 3D printing. That also kind of seems like a rabbit hole that is... No ending. <laughs> Look how we're all 3D printers when you think about it. all familiar with green energy. Now behold the brown energy. Thank you, guy in the chat. No, 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 it's called bad water, dude. It's just bad water, don't worry about it. Look, my beavers are happier than ever. That's good. That's real good. That's what we wanted. You know what they say, happy beaver, happy life. Oh. Oh. The water's going up. I didn't even finish my wall yet. Oh. You know what I should do? I should save. <laughs> I forgot the name of my game. Yeah. Very good. A drought is approaching. Okay. I wish I could actually just lower this though be much better. My trip was pretty nice and busy. Can't complain, dude. Okay, another drought is approaching. Hopefully this one's gonna be a bit easier to survive. Why did the gods... Disable water for maintenance. It's called seasons guy in the chat I'm assuming somewhere down, you know up up a river, right? We're, we're somewhere pretty far down, but I'm assuming somewhere up a river. There's like, you know, heavy rainfall Something like that or or we could consider it the gods also an option Both are good options really God is not a very good plumber. Good point. <laughs> Mario and Luigi? Dude, Mario and Luigi are amazing plumbers. And not only are they plumbers, and not only are they brothers, there are many things. No, I can't really talk about a bug. You'll find out in due time. They were finally alone. Yeah. Look how long the, or how much bigger the, the, the green zone over here is, though. Very good. Time to plant some cass? What does that mean? Cass? Cassava? Why? I only have... No, I don't have that much food, dude. I gotta be careful about my food situation. Oh, I'm actually filled up. What the heck? I didn't realize I was full. Luke is going to be the president of the United States. Yeah, that's why I went to LA. They interviewed me for the position. Good times. I'm 
I'm gonna be the governor of California. Yep. Together with Arnold. We're gonna be doing it together. I'm gonna be starring in Hercules as well, Chess. <laughs> They're redoing that one. Oops. Broke NDA. Oops. Yikes. I think I'm good from this drought. It depends on how long the drought is. We'll find out. God always sends a memo at the beginning of every drought how long it's gonna last. You can criticize him for many things, but this is kind of chill. Okay. Four days. Hello. I was gonna say, Mr. Dam, you were uh, you were leaking. I think I can survive for quite a while now. The only problem is I don't have a lot of people or beavers. Okay, here's my levy. <sighs> and then we're gonna go ahead and put up a... It'd be best if I could put up a floodgate. Which one do I need though? Do I need a double floodgate or a regular floodgate? I never quite understand exactly what the squares are. I think I'm gonna do double floodgate if possible. It's 250 science. The levy is dry, loco. No, no, no. Hold up. You think I need a triple? No, a triple's too expensive. I understand the height, but if I build it on here, right? The double floodgate is two additional levels and then the thing that's on top? Or does it, does it block two squares worth of water? Is that what it is? So this is one square, this is a second square. So double would work over here, right? Like double on top of this would bring the water up to this level. So that would be, that would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think, so, I, but I think if I built this, my main is gonna get flooded and it should have been one. But I guess I can change the height of it. That's not really the problem, but yeah. What's going on, Brisek? You got out of a work meeting? Hello, hello. Can you set it to 1.5? Wait, you can do 0.5? I didn't realize that. Oh, okay, cool. It will work Gucci. Love Gucci, dude. Big fan of Gucci. <laughs> How do you do, fellow Gucciers in the chat? We Gucci, bro. All facts, no printer. True. All facts. I don't even have a printer, dude. I lied, I do have a printer. The only problem here is that I'm also gonna have to do a singular floodgate for that, though. Plus, it means I have to do planks again, and I don't currently have any wood. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be berries. Berries. This is going to be... Kohlrabis. <sighs> Where do beavers live? Close to water, usually, dude. That's what they're like. Gucci gang. What happened what happened to the Gucci gang guy? Does he have any more great hits? Lil Pump. A good name, dude. Billboard's music award for top streaming song? Gucci gang. What does Lil Pump do these days?
<laughs> oh no, what? He got a new tattoo, according to his Instagram. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, he took another photo. Very, yeah, very cool. Very good. Uh, very. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh oh. He could become a streamer, dude. Easily. Are you trying to say you don't have a tattoo with your favorite president, Barnacle? I'm disappointed, dude. <laughs> Are you even a fan of somebody when you don't have a tattoo? Why do you hate freedom, Barnacle Bob? Can't believe this. Would I get a tattoo of Toby and Milo? No, no. Yo, Motlesis. Where are you, pancakes? I know, dude. I didn't have time for pancakes. <sighs> Thank you for the 108 months, though. No, it's 100. Wait, it's 108 months in total and a 107 month streak. So basically, Motlesis, after the first month that he subbed, he was like, eh. Yeah. I'll let it lapse. Yeah. And then he decided to come back. Yeah, Motlis has played hard to get for a little bit. 108 months in total, 107 months in a row. Yeah, I know, you played hard to get. Yeah, I know, it's okay, man. It's a bit of a classic. Five hundred dollars for a hundred months. How do you have hours of time, Chet, but not five hundred dollars for a hundred months? <laughs> That's so bad. I should get a loco tattoo in my wait. I should get, yeah yeah. I should get my own logo. I should get the loco logo in my neck. Absolutely. Laurent's gonna love it. I'll surprise her with it. Ta-da! It's cheaper if you buy three or six months up front. What if you buy a hundred months up front? I should get a QR code? Yo, that's really clever. A QR code tattoo that links straight to my stream? Brilliant, guys. I think we're really onto something now. You would have subscribed for a hundred months in advance, Bunny. I appreciate that idea. That is quite the flex if you sub for a hundred months in advance. <laughs> Never have to worry about that again. Ooh, I could get an AR tattoo. That's a good point, man. If I get a uh, VTuber avatar, but it's just me, but with a face tattoo. That's my VTuber avatar. That would technically work. Hey, thank you very much, Thort. Gifted a sub to Mugetsu, Gabriel. Is Loco an iPhone enjoyer? Maybe. Maybe. I feel like you're gonna judge me if I say yes. <sighs> you could also build the double gate a bit further back. Yeah. I actually didn't want to go with the double gate initially. The problem is, is that it's gonna be a very large gate. I could build it all the way back here. 
I think that's too much, though. Nah, nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it over here. People prefer Android, but then they grow up and buy an iPhone in the end. The, uh... The rabbit hole. Uh, no, 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 that's not what I need. The apple walled garden. Okay. Gonna build it over there. Gonna require a lot. Have I seen the apple changes? What changes this time? I saw they did a new, uh, new MacBook Air. With basically the same one. But slightly different. That laptop is amazing, though. A really sick machine. Oh, I did see that they were doing transparent screens, but I didn't see Apple doing that. I saw that in general, um, there was like a laptop that launched with a transparent screen. Which is kind of amazing. 